Now, Porter Competitive 5 Forces. This is a Porter idea. He said managers should understand forces in industry and environment. So if you're a manager, you need to look at the environment and watch for these five. Number one, if you're a manager of a pizza place, you have to watch everyone who open a new pizza, right? Number two, you want to watch your suppliers. Do you know suppliers? The people who give you the stuff. People who give you the raw material. People who sell you the olives, the green peppers, the onions, the cheese, the sauce, the dough, the... You also want to watch your buyers, people who buy from you. Maybe your customers, maybe if you sell to another organization, maybe if you sell through some other catering company, you want to watch these and you watch their power. And number th four is the threat of substitutes. Uh, for example, people, if they don't eat pizza, what do they eat? The second best burgers. Burgers. So you need to watch for burgers also. Because if burgers are cheaper now, people will no longer come to you. If, if uh, another burger place open next to you and they sell delicious burger, you know, that will affect your sales. And rivalry among existing competitors. You want to see uh, your existing competitors. You know, what happens if some of them change policy, change prices, change competitive advantage or... Are you guys okay? Porter suggests that companies adapt strategies based on these five forces. So, uh, if you are uh, if you're the pizza place, which one of these do you think is the most critical? Substitutes. For pizza, it's substitutes. Yes. Okay. Uh, what if you are a CAC bank? Which one of these is very important? And new entrants. See, for example, banks. It is very difficult to open a new bank. So that's not very uh, major. You know, if you talk about a bank from a power of supplier, you want to see the bank and their correspondence international banks. Do you see if they are maybe a major concern? Uh, power of buyer, we're talking about customers. Do customers come to the bank and they have the power? Or the bank has the power? You see? Uh, for example, if I'm a bank and a customer come to me and the customer has $10 million, then the customer has the power of $10 million. And uh, since I'm not the only bank, the customer can go to the other bank. So I have to smile at the bank. The, if I'm the bank, I have to smile at the customer and uh, I understand that the customer has the power because they can leave me and go to the other. Do you see? But on the other hand, if I'm the only bank that can take your money, then I have the power. Do you see? So who has the power depending who needs the other more? Do you see? And then the power, the threat of substitutes. You know, if, if you don't come to the bank, you can go to the exchanger. You can go to the small uh, money uh, transfer service. You can go to the post office. You see, those are the substitutes. So does the bank is scared of the post office? If the post office starts to provide money transfer and uh, saving accounts, yes. it becomes yes, yes, right? Uh, especially for the, the, low, uh, the people who... And then we've got this uh, rivalry among uh, existing competitors, which is, you know, what existing competitors can do. What happens if your uh, competitor offer this new product uh, or provide this better service? then that's going to affect you. Are you guys okay with this, Porter? Okay.